Dear learners and listeners, welcome to the course in psychology at senior secondary level. I am Dr. Shweta Verma, the course coordinator and subject expert for the present course. Psychology as a subject will not only help you to gain credits but will also help you to understand yourself and the social world around you. It will also be helpful to gain an understanding of how you can adjust and adapt to the surrounding environment. Before I introduce you the structure of the course, I will give you an idea about subject matter of psychology. Psychology is the scientific study of mind and behavior. It is a multifaceted discipline and includes many subfields of studies such as human development, sports, health, clinical, social, behavioral and cognitive processes. Psychology is really a very new science with most advances happening over the past 150 years or so. However, its origins can be traced back to ancient Greek that is 400 to 500 years BC. That time the emphasis was a philosophical one with great thinkers such as Socrates influencing Plato, who in turn influenced Aristotle. Psychology is a discipline which is relevant to all walks of life. Its application to the various areas of personal, organizational and social functioning are well recognized. All of us use various psychological concepts without even knowing them. This course at the senior secondary level has been designed in such a way that you could know the basics of psychology in simple language. Let us know that how the present course has been designed to facilitate learning. So, the present course has six modules. Let's know about these modules one by one. Module one, which is foundations of psychology. This module would help you to understand the basic processes and applications of psychology, methods used in studying psychology, the psychological functioning of the human and its effects. Then comes the module 2 which is the key psychological processes. This module is primarily concerned with those psychological processes which constitute the dynamics of human functioning. Thus, they are not only theoretically important but have practical relevance. In particular, this module deals with learning, memory, thinking, motivation and emotion. Let us know what is there in module 3. Module 3 is developmental processes. As the name suggests, this module aims at describing the various stages of human development and their characteristics. It also focuses on adolescence, adulthood and aging which are the important phases of human life. The nature, range and assessment of individual differences will also be dealt with in this module. Then comes module number 4 which is self and personality. Human beings not only respond to the external world but also attend to themselves. In other words, self is also an object and all of us deal with it. In recent years, self has been given significant place in the analysis of cognition, motivation and emotion. So, this module throws a light on self and the psychological processes associated with it. In addition to this, the fourth module also talks about the personality theories and their assessment, which is at the core of understanding various psychological processes. Besides understanding self and personality, this module will also introduce all of you to various psychological disorders that people develop as a result of environment, genetic makeup and hereditary factors. Now let us know what is there in the fifth module. Module 5 
is social and applied psychology. Social psychology is an important branch of psychology and it deals with social functioning and processes. This module has been designed to facilitate all of you in understanding various social factors and processes. It intends to help you in adopting interventions for leading a healthy lifestyle. Then comes the last module, module number 6. This is an optional module which has two parts that is 6a and 6b. It depends upon you that out of the two modules you can choose any one of the module for study as per your interest. Let us know what content do we study in this module. If you take up for studying module number 6a which is world of work then this module familiarizes you with the application of psychology in the work situation. It would also help you in understanding the psychological processes involved in career choice, vocational adjustment and managing stress and promoting well-being. On the other hand, module number 6b which is facilitating early childhood education would help you in understanding the importance of early childhood education and it would also help you to understand the usefulness of play centers and the role of parents and community in the play centers. So, it is completely your choice to opt out for any of the two modules from 6a and 6b. So, from how does human mind work to what is mental dysfunction? How do we define being health conscious to how do we behave in groups and how do we decide a careers and so on. These are many of the questions that psychology tries to answer and in this course in psychology we would try to answer the various psychological processes that are play behind mind and behavior. I hope that this video has given you a fair idea about what we are going to learn out of this course. Thank you.